Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Well, I'm having a little spa day here for myself and I thought I would share with you guys what are my favorite self-care products. So what better time is there than when you are trapped at home, can't go out, uh, can't get to the spa or the hairdresser or the facialist or the dermatologist or the manicurist or any of your services to try to do some of them at home or to try to do some things at least to relax yourself and make yourself feel just a lot better about the world. I feel like self-care is something that we should all be carving out a little chunk of time to do these days because it's so important to continue to take care of yourself so that you don't get overwhelmed with stress and anxiety during these super anxious times that we're living in. And so, you know, it's nice just to turn off the news for a couple minutes and forget about what's going on outside in the world and just really think about other things maybe all the good that's still in the world and all the blessings in your life and you know take that time to make yourself feel better and being a beauty blogger I have so many masks I have so many gadgets I have so many creams and lotions and potions and so I have my favorites for every kind of pampering that you could want to do so I thought I'd share them with you today so let's start with the most important thing which is of course what you're gonna wear when you're pampering yourself and of course you need a big fluffy bathrobe. This guy is so soft and fuzzy. It's not a standard terry robe, it's softer than a towel. Anyway, it's about three quarters length, has a standard tie belt, and it's just such a soft cozy robe. I just love the thing. And then underneath I have on a little um, sleep cami from Soma, and they had this big 40% off sale about a week and a half ago, so I ordered up some things. And I love this cool night sleep cami. It's so cute and so perfect for wearing under this especially on those days where you know I just don't feel like getting dressed and so this is what I'm wearing all day and it is what's working for me and then of course you have to set the stage so you have to have some nice candles so that the air smells good and so that it almost transports you to a different time and a different place and so I wanted to show you my couple of favorite candles for that one is this little boulangerie jar candle that I picked up at anthropology a couple of years ago and this I've lit this so so many times and it's such a slow burner that you know there's still plenty in there even though I've used it for like two years but this one talk about transforming you to another time and place this one smells like a cross between um, cookies baking and some fresh lemon or something like lemon poppy seed cake or something like that anyway I mean it really just transports me back to being a little girl and being in my grandma's kitchen and just feeling that warmth and that love and I love that feeling especially now when you know we're so far apart from each other that's more of like a kitcheny homey cookie scent than the other scent that I love is something that's really clean and so I have this candle back here and this one has more of an herbal smell this one smells more like rosemary or cedarwood or even I could see burning this at Christmas. It's almost a little like evergreen, but during the non-Christmas season, I always think of it more as rosemary, and that's one of my favorite scents. It's just so energizing, and so it depends on the mood you're going for. You know, if you want to kind of fall asleep, I would go for like the cookie mood. Obviously, you can use a candle you have in your house, but these are just two that I love. All right, so let's move on to our treatments. The first thing I always think of when I'm doing like a little pampering routine or a spa or a self-care is face masks. I love to do a mask. I find them so relaxing because, you know, when your skin is stressed, it doesn't look as good as it does when it is nice and calm and nice and hydrated. If you're looking just surely for hydration and to really moisturize your skin, my favorite mask for that is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Mask. It's a sheet mask and what I love about it most is that it has a foil overlay. So when I put on like a sheet mask, I often feel like they're dry kind of by the end of the 10 or I like to leave them on for 20 minutes or half an hour. You know, I like to really relax, maybe take a nap or read a book or play a game or do a little bit of shopping. So I do leave it on for like 20, 30 minutes. And I find that a lot of times they'll dry during that time. And so I love this one because it has foil over the top. It just keeps it nice and moist and damp on your face. So when your time is up and you peel the mask off, you still have so much of that advanced night repair serum on your skin. And then I don't rinse, I just like rub everything in. And it's a really great mask. These are a little bit expensive because they're 
Estee Lauder, but they have nice ingredients. A less expensive hydrating mask that I love are these Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Deep Moisture Water Masks. These guys are great as well. I mean, there is so much serum in here that I just slather my whole self up with it because, you know, it's not about just doing your face. You still want to do the rest of your body and you want to moisturize and hydrate there too. So rather than throwing out all of the extra serum in here, might as well use it up and just slather it anywhere that you feel like you need some extra hydration. I always have a hard time with sheet masks with the way that they fit under my eyes. And so I will generally do a separate under eye mask while I'm doing a sheet mask. And my current favorite under eye mask is this one from Derma E. It's their vitamin C bright eyes hydrogel patches. They contain niacinamide, vitamin E, vitamin C. It is a vitamin C ester, which I don't love, but it's not going to hurt. Really the niacinamide in there is what's going to brighten and hydrate your under eyes. It also has hyaluronic acid. It comes with like a little spoon in here and you use that to pull up. See if I can get one out here and balance it on the spoon. So they're kind of these gel eye masks and they're really great because they're really big and they really cling on to your under eye area. So you put the narrow part in here and then the wider part out here and that just hydrates and really holds that like niacinamide and all the really good ingredients in here right onto your skin for the full 20 minutes that you're doing the treatment. It makes your skin look so plump and so hydrated and so youthful. It's just so nice. I just love a little masking sesh. Now if hydration isn't your issue, let's say you have more oily skin and you're looking for something that's more of like a charcoal mask or a clay mask, my favorite clay mask is this Skin Food Egg White Pore Mask. It doesn't have a ton of egg white in it, but it does have zinc in it and it does have kaolin, which is clay. This is the kind that you put it on and then you wash it off afterwards. I reviewed this a couple of years ago and it really made my pores and my skin look so much tighter and so much smoother, but yet it's not a drying kind of mask. You know, a lot of those clay masks that are specifically for oilier skin people are really going to dry out your skin. And I feel like most older people already are dealing with some dry skin. This isn't going to make your dry skin drier. This is actually a really hydrating mask for something that's a clay mask and the zinc in here is so soothing so if you have a lot of redness in your skin it'll really help to tone down the redness and it's at a really nice drugstore price so that's a really good one that I highly recommend. All right so aside from those kind of topical masks I love to use them in a good pamper sash but I'm also really into power tools because <laughs> by the time you get to be my age and you've got a ton of sun damage a lot of times you know those things are great for like a high hydrating or maybe temporarily making your pores look smaller, but you're really going to need like the big guns, the heavy hitters to actually make something happen on your face. And what better time than when you're in quarantine to start with a power tool, right? So you guys know my favorite power tool <laughs> is my new face and I have been using this a lot since the quarantine happened. Whereas before I was kind of on my maintenance mode, I was always in a hurry in the morning to get my skincare done, but I would still spend my 10 minutes doing my basic new face routine about three times a week. Well, now that I have, you know, more time in my day, I've been doing it every day and man, can I see a difference in my skin. I mean, if you don't have a new face, you could use something like a gua sha tool or a jade roller. These are really nice to just give yourself a really nice facial massage. You know, obviously they're not going to do as much for you as something like this where you're getting the microcurrent. And what I love about the microcurrent is that the research has shown that your skin cells actually communicate with each other using a microcurrent and the wavelength of this is on the same wavelength as the microcurrent in your skin. So not only are you giving yourself a nice cooling massage, but you're also energizing your skin cells. And I think it's that kind of double whammy that really works for me. I mean, this is the only power tool that I've ever used for the entire time since I started with it. And well, you guys know I talk about it enough. I just love it. If you don't have one of these and you're thinking of buying it, wait a few days because the um, Sephora sale is starting later this week. So pick it up then instead of today. Anyway, yeah, that's a great tool that I love and I've been doing that a lot. But I also dug through my drawers and dug out something that I tested about a year ago. I actually tested two of them. They're at home lasers by Tria. And so I did a video on both. I can link the video right up here if you want to see how that went. But kind of my takeaway at the end of that was that the big Tria where you do your whole face was really too much pain and effort for the amount of payout that I got from it. But the one that I really liked was the mini, the little Tria eye laser. This guy I thought was really 
really good and I thought you know what I'm gonna pull this out and do this like quarterly because I found it really did help my under eye wrinkles and you know after I made that video I kind of threw it in a drawer and forgot about it and since I've been home lately I've been like I want to get that eye laser thing going where is it and it took me a while to find it then of course I had to find the charger and charge it but it charged right up it works just great it's one minute below each eye every night and I think you're supposed to do it for like eight weeks or something like that and I was like yeah I have time for that now and my eyes <laughs> definitely will thank me for it. And then the third power tool that I wanted to share with you guys is an LED light mask. And this was sent in PR. It's actually been sitting on my shelf over there staring at me for about a year. And you know what my reservation with it was is that I got so much sun damage on my skin on purpose because I was a sun worshiper, a real sunbather when I was young, and I thought I just don't want to mess around with anything that's light based because I'm not sure how it's going to be with, you know, my underlying skin cancers that I'm sure are there and are going to pop out eventually. And so I started looking into red light therapy and guess what? It's completely safe, especially for sun damaged skin. And actually there are some really good studies showing that it's really good for wound healing, also for anti-aging, helps with fine lines and wrinkles, helps build collagen in the skin. And this one is a combination of red light and near infrared light. Both of those are at a wavelength where they are completely non-damaging to your skin. So I was like, oh man, I can't believe I, you know, haven't been using this for Year. but anyway so I've got it out and I started using it and I really like it so every time Sephora has a sale I'm always looking at that Dr. Dennis Gross light mask and theirs uses red LED and blue LED but no near infrared and it's $435 and so you know when I pulled this out of PR I was like I don't even know how much this thing costs I did find it on Amazon I'll link it below it's still expensive it's like $235 but still that's a lot less than the Dr. Dennis Gross one even in the Sephora sale and it doesn't use blue light because blue light is really more for treating acne. What they did is they stripped out all the other colors of light that people generally at our age don't need or people who are looking for just anti-aging and made it into just an anti-aging mask but they added the near infrared which a lot of the research that looks promising is a combination of red LED and near infrared at a certain wavelength and this matches the same wavelength so you can do five minute treatments 10 15 or 20 it is very comfortable to wear I've done the treatment twice so far you know I can't say that I see any difference yet sometimes I wake up early before I want to get up so I'll just pop this on and do a quick 15 or 20 minutes with it when I have it on I look like Iron Man. I think in all the research it was like a 12 week where they used it twice a week for a half an hour. So I'll try to get that same kind of time matched and so maybe in about three months I'll report back on how this was. But in the meantime if you're looking for some kind of a red light therapy mask this um, seems like a good one to me. All right so those were my favorite power tools. The next part of the body that I want to talk about is the hands. Oh my gosh you guys are your hands just dying from all of the hand washing? I mean it's crazy uh, you know I just felt my hands I was like god they're so dry grab some cream and now I'm gonna rub some cream in yeah my hands are so dry all the time from all the hand washing and also my nails look like junk because I don't think I've been to the nail salon in probably a month and a half that's when I stopped going to places you know where you had to be in close contact with people and so I usually get gel manicures and my gel manicure has been off for about two weeks now and so I needed some kind of a manicure and I'm not the kind of person who's good at putting on nail polish and then waiting for it to dry but what has worked for me in the past were the stick on nails basically you crazy glue a little piece of plastic onto the ends of your fingers so I've got two of those to show you here the one I'm wearing are these kiss nails I ordered these from Amazon um, these are actually pretty nice these are the real short length and they're in a little bit of a nude French manicure and I think these are good but for real shorts they're a little still a little bit long for me the only reason being that 
Um, this is my contact lens taking out finger, and when the nail is a little bit too long on that one, I can't get my lens out, so I'm going to have to file this one down. I've already filed a couple of them down, like the thumbs and things, but what's so great about these, they have this little tab on the end of the nail that just breaks off when you're done applying it, and that makes it so much easier. The other nails that I love are by Static Nails. I don't know if you guys remember these, but I was obsessed with these a couple of years ago, and I still have this set that I'm probably going to put on when these guys come come off, but these don't have the tabs on the end and I found them a little bit more difficult to put on just because you're dealing with crazy glue. So those are two great options that you can do for an at-home manicure if you can't paint your nails like me. And then um, the hand cream I just put on, it's one of my favorite hand creams. It's the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. I love this stuff. This has shea butter and vitamin E and it also has eucalyptus in it, so I love the smell of this. It just makes that my hands smell so like the spa. And then my favorite hand cream from the drugstore is the Gold Bond Healing with Aloe. This one's great too. They're both kind of greasy. This one's a little greasier than the Kiehl's. The Kiehl's you can put it on and then you don't feel like you immediately have to like mush your hand on a towel to get the grease off your fingers. This one, it's kind of like that, like your fingers just feel a little mm, extra greasy for a while, but this one's great to use at night, so if you keep this by your bedside, slather your hands up with it. Last thing before you go to bed, even if you, you know, have some mittens or socks you want to put on that will really hold the moisture in, that your hands will really be happy with you if you just moisturize them after every time you wash them or overnight. So that's a good one to do. So then for the body, I'm I'm not a big like take a bath kind of person. I hate the idea of sitting in a puddle of my own filth. <laughs> and I know some people are like take a shower before. I'm like uh, that kind of defeats the purpose. If I'm in the shower, I'm just gonna shower. I'm, I don't know. I just don't like laying in the tub. Just not my thing. Whatever it just is. But um, so I'm not gonna give you any notes for like bath beads or salts or whatever to put in your bath. I'm sure whatever you like to take a bath with is what you like to take a bath with, right? But when you get out of the tub or you get out of the shower when your skin is still slightly damp is the best time to put on your moisturizer. The best moisturizer to use for anti-aging from the neck down for your whole body is this Alpha Renewal Lotion. It's got 12% glycolic acid and glycolic acid is an exfoliant and it helps your dead skin cells that are laying on the surface of your body to turn over faster and so it gets them off there and that's what makes your skin look really crepey and really dry and so putting this on every day or every other day is a really great way to help your skin just look a little bit younger and then the last thing that I like to moisturize when I'm doing a spa day is my hair and so I will usually do like a nice hair mask and the best hair mask of all time is from Colleen Rothschild it's this quench and shine restorative mask I use it as my conditioner every time I wash my hair, but you can also use it as a mask. So you would just apply it to damp hair and leave it on for however long you want. Sometimes I'll wrap my hair in a hot towel and then let that sit while I'm doing my face mask for 20 minutes or a half an hour and then pop back in the shower, rinse it out. But my hair is just so shiny and so manageable and so frizz free after I use this. I just love it. It is absolutely the best and it was sold out for months from like Christmas until about a week ago and it's back. I'm so excited about that but she also just launched a shampoo and if you want to try the shampoo or if you've never tried this and you want to try this she's offering like a little discovery kit of her hair care. So it's got the shampoo, the conditioner and there's also a leave-in oil that I also use every day uh, when I style my hair and so it's got those three things in a comb. I think it's $42 so not a bad price for those. So that's it for my favorite self-care products, Pamper Me things. And so I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. As always, I thank you so much for your time and really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.